Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video to address some of the things that were going on with April's humble choice. Normally, I don't make this kind of videos because obviously I just got started in sharing more about the humble choice and seeing what is going on with the choice right now, I thought that, you know what, I should make a video where I will talk about it. So without further ado, let's get into the Hi and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Vasharal and this is Stale Play. And in today's video, it's not the ordinary thing that I normally like to talk about. Usually I either make a listing video or I talk about the Humble Bundle leaks or I make a guide video for backlogs and stuff like that. But today I wanted to talk a little bit much more in depth about the Humble Bundle choice. Obviously, I like to share every single month a leaks either made by Bill Bill Kuhn or some of the times I find those sources directly and then I just hop onto the camera and I try to record and a couple of times before that I share as soon as I find out with the community on Humble Bundle. Some of you are actually from there from Reddit and have been supporting my journey in trying to share out leaks and I appreciate that although I did talk about it on multiple websites regarding this whole issue where everybody thought that it was the real deal and obviously there were a lot of confirmations started from the original source Bill Bill Kuhn where obviously he hasn't been missing for maybe months I never uh, kept track until actually I've started to keep track myself and finding out that he is the one that is sharing the leaks and then there were a couple of other people that were sharing including myself so obviously it comes with a big disappointment for the fact that this leak was quite holding a choice that a lot of people wanted and we're talking here about Eternal we're talking here about Noita these were two games that I personally didn't know that it was so desired by the community and obviously sharing these kind of leaks and then seeing that it's not the games that they wanted is very disappointing. I own Return. I, I talked about it in the previous video where I shared the leaks and I like the game. I think a lot of people should try it. Now the whole point is that for me the bundle didn't feel as satisfying as with this one that we're having right now where we have 4x title strategy games and other stuff like that. that are in my sphere of interest now that doesn't mean that is with you and a lot of people that were actually commenting in the reddit post and on youtube were very pleased to hear that returnal and noita was part of the bundle i personally was looking forward for having noita and a black tail and i remember speaking about that one but even though the three mainline games i already own i was happy for those who were able to have it so this message is more about to say that I'm really sorry that it didn't turn out the way I personally wanted it to be. Oftentimes when we share leaks, we take them with skepticism because a lot of the times there are a couple of games that could change. Like we had in February a Werewolf Apocalypse and then it showed up again. So I thought that it is a real one because they didn't give it in February. So then we obviously thought that it's going to be now and it wasn't. And it's quite disappointing to say the least because there was such a big change in all the games that were over there if the three main like games would like be changed that wouldn't be a problem to be honest i would understand that you couldn't give returnal and i would understand that maybe assassin's creed wouldn't be there but maybe werewolf apocalypse and noita and other games could have very easily been there i mean noita is going for 15 bucks right now on steam i think they're also giving it on sale on humble bundle and yeah it's it's quite a bummer to see say the least. Now, what's really disappointing is the fact that a lot of people were looking forward to buy this choice. A lot of people who in previous choices, they were fairly careless about it. They, they always wanted to skip. So for this leak to be actually an April's Fool's Day, it hurt more Humble Bundle than it hurt the leakers or anybody else. At the end of the day, if I'm not going to be a leaker or Bill Bill Coolin is not going to be a leaker, 
there's always going to be somebody else who's eventually going to figure out what it is. And I always thought that the leakers are actually there to help out Humble Bundle. Those people who don't want to buy the games, they will not buy the games. That's for sure. If they're going to see the leak or not see the leak, the moment that the choices are going to be live, they're going to either skip it or just move on to something else. So their opinion really doesn't matter. Who matters is those people who are holding back from buying a particular game that might be on the choice and finding out that it what's the game on that choice on the choice itself it makes things easier for them to decide if they want to go and purchase the game or not and that helps humble choice that helps humble bundle in my opinion because they're making the sale and it's not some third party website or maybe a the gray market so i really don't understand what was the whole point of humble bundle trying to you know take out the leakers or find out who were the leakers at the end of the day i really think that leaking this kind of stuff really helps out to push more purchases hype out people and create more discussions that are really worth you know discussing about i really enjoy creating this kind of content despite the fact that they require a tremendous amount of time when i make this kind of videos when they pop out and sometimes i have a couple of days to you know share this kind of stuff with you and you know this whole situation really might change the way leaks will be distributed going forward now i don't know if humble bundle is gonna go back to how they used to share leaks and i don't know if this was just an intentional but as i said i don't think that this is, has helped them in any other way in fact it actually hurt them because obviously if they would have shared that that's what it is then a lot of people you know simply would have not bought it in the very first place but hyped a lot of people disappointed a lot of people and not only people are disappointed on leakers such as myself but also disappointed on a humble bundle and oftentimes people talk fondly about humble bundle how it used to be before ign took over now i don't know how things used to be back then but rarely i hear people talking positively about how the whole humble bundle choice was and how it is today and that's quite sad to hear it i personally love humble bundle uh, it has been helping me out to build out my library to buy games that i really want and discover new games all the time and i can't thank them enough i don't hold any kind of grudge i'm just personally disappointed for everybody else who wanted this choice to be real and of course to make money out of that you know at the end of the day i understand it's a business and i want them to succeed otherwise we would not have humble bundle we wouldn't have fanatical or any other uh, bundle website that share this kind of stuff and they need our support so obviously if you want to buy the the games through the bundle you can definitely do so there's a link in my description that you can do so you can also support me or you can use all the funds when you buy the games and send it to charity send it to the devs or send it to humble bundle to support them but still it is quite sad now what does that mean when it comes to leaks uh we don't know for sure we don't know if they will come back as they used to be and just carry over as it was and if this was just a trick just to trick people a lot of people don't understand why they they pulled out a trick early on because of the leaks obviously it was to to create and steer a little bit of discussions about it or maybe this was an experiment to see if that that particular bundle would work out for future things all in all i do not know for certain it could have been also a situation where a humble had to change completely and it wasn't something fake and the whole thing that they had to change was because they couldn't upload on top of what original was created and i don't really know to tell you the truth all i know is that uh, there is a possibility that it will change there's a possibility that there will be delays when it comes to the humble leaks and there will be probably other people who will struggle to find leaks if they change their strategy until people figure out a new way other than that it could be that there won't be any more leaks going forward we do not know exactly so i hope that this video reaches you well i just want to say sorry for everybody wanting to get that bundle as it was leaked and personally as i said i was looking forward for everybody wanting it it's not always about me although this bundle as it is right now after you know facing the reality is something that i i personally like i would have liked that more people would have enjoyed it and i want humble bundle choice to be a great option and i think it is a great option if you're looking to get a lot of games very cheap price that really hold up quite well now about 
the games are in this bundle. A lot of people will talk about, oh, they're mixed reviews and stuff like that. I'll be very honest with you. A lot of the games that have mixed reviews here, I think they're still worth giving a shot. You have Callisto Protocol, you have Humankind, you have Victoria 3, and a couple of others that I can't recall right now because I don't have any kind of script. But I I, I think they're fairly good as, as they are, but obviously they are not at the same quality as the leak was. And yeah, that's all I wanted to share. Of course, if you want to continue to get leaks or discussions regarding the Humble Bundle choice and other Humble Bundle things like this, feel free to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. And also give me a like or dislike. It's up to you. And uh, drop me a comment. What do you think about this choice? I know some of you commented on other community posts and stuff like that. And as I said, I was keeping track of everything to make sure that it is in check. So that's all I wanted to share. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, take care, stay safe and happy gaming.